Hi there, everybody, and welcome to Food Review UK. You're joined here today by David Goss, uh, Nathan Beaverson. <laughs> Facts, and um, we're doing a after hours uh, review, like aka in after the office, in the workplace. And this is actually for me a surprise review. I don't know what we're doing yet. Nathan's brought it in. All he knows is using a spoon. All I do know is that I'm. I don't know whether this is to gouge my own eyes and teeth out from how horrendous it is. Possibly. Uh, before you go any further, I will say that, and this may give away what it is, this is something that um, someone we both know did purchase for this very, uh, very thing, this very review. So don't say anything too offensive because you might offend a wonderful young man. He looks confused. We're all confused. Today we're going to be reviewing... Tahin Halvasi. Ah. Oh. Tahin Halva with cocoa. Uh, our friend Reese Peru. Reese Peru, Peru. He's not from Peru, Peru. He's smaller than you and you. <laughs> Reese Peru. Peru. <laughs> Peru. Um, Reese from Greece. Reese from Greece, Greece. Uh, he went to Greece on holiday. What did he actually get to Greece? Cyprus. Cyprus, correct. Turkey. All, all of them. <laughs> Um, did, did a tour of the Balkans. Did a tour of the fucking Mediterranean. Um, nah, uh, yeah, he went to Turkey. He went to Turkey and he, because uh, he loves the channel, hates the channel, um, he decided to bring back this. Got no fucking idea what it is. What did he describe it as? He said it's, it's, it's like a powder. It's a snack. And it's chocolate flavour, I think. Why are you doing this off camera? Show, show the people. Because I, I didn't think that peeling would work on camera. It smells alright. Smells sort of chocolatey, hazelnutty. I tell you what, it smells like a bit nuttery. It smells like Snickers. Yeah, fair. So, yeah, go for it. I think you just like it's. It's, it's a snack. It's a, apparently it's a snack over in in like that, that sort of part of the world. It's kind of like, it looks like dry ice cream. Yeah. You eat it neat, apparently. I don't, I don't know if you can spray it on stuff. What does that mean, eat it neat? As in, you don't necessarily have to have it with anything. I shouldn't fucking... You don't stir Was it, it alcoholic? In... You don't stir it in... It might be. Eat it neat? What's it going to do Shut to me? Shut up. Shut yeah, up. let's tell, do it then. Tell my man. Shall we? Up. That texture though. Weird, isn't it? That texture is so weird. Not quite mousse. Not quite candy floss. Not quite sand. Like it's not like Yeah. Powder. It's like it's not it's powdery without being powdery. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong <old> now? <laughs> <laughs> I quite like it though. Flavour's nice. Um, yeah, flavour is probably a little bit more nutty than sort of chocolate. Mm, yeah. Sort of I think it like smells cho more chocolatey than it tastes. Because of its texture, it doesn't feel like it's food. I don't Flavoured really... dust. Yeah. Like mouldy sherbet. That's just compost. Compost. <laughs> together. It's just Put in your gardens. Helps your plants. Flavoured sand. Oh, that's a bit acidic, that one. Flavoured sand. I hope it hasn't given us an off one, or that it's sat around so long that it's now gone off. July 2010. It kind of feels like I'm eating... Does sand go off? <laughs> it does kind of feel like I'm eating astronaut food. Food. Fod. Food. Like, it feels very... It sounds stupid, but it feels very futuristic. This feels like mm -hmm. a food that we'd be eating in, in the future. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. weird as well, because it's really dry. But, but so not... wet at the same time. It's so sand. It's sand. But it's not like it's taking all the moisture out of your mouth. Mm. You, know, you know like mm. if you eat... You know like if you eat, you eat crackers? If, if someone gave you a dry cracker, and you ate that, and you're, afterwards you're like... You've got no moisture in your mouth. This isn't necessarily doing that, but at the same time it's really dry. Not quite Gandhi's flip-flop. It's like Gandhi's... Sweaty arsehole. Chunk strap. Cred. 
Um, yeah, no, it's all right. The flavour. Gandhi Sarong. Gandhi Sarong. He is so wrong. Um, <laughs> it's kind of sweet, but not too. Like I say, it's got a really weird, like nutty flavour. Weird aftertaste. Mm. Like the chocolate's almost a dark chocolate as an aftertaste, rather than sort of being a, a milk milk chocolate flavour all the way through. <sighs> Don't know, you're laughing at me. <laughs> Don't fucking do it. Don't do what? Don't do it in things, man. Um, yeah, I don't mind it. Would I? This, this is what I'm saying, right? Lucy's bought this for us. Am I enjoying it? Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Can't say don't like it. No. Would I buy it again? No. No. Would I even buy it if I was in Turkey? Would no. I buy it for anyone else? No. 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 So it's quite. It might end up being quite a harsh score, but I don't think that's. Would I recommend any, anyone even tried it? For curiosity, yeah. Like I, I could imagine if I if I knew other food reviewers in the game, I don't. Um, I'd say have you tried it? No, give it a go, give it a whirl. You might like it. But beyond that, I wouldn't say you've got to try this because it's delicious. I'm I'm kind of glad we've done it. Tahin different. Halvasi. Tahin Halvasi. Yeah, I think it's actually Tahin Halva, halva with Tahin. cocoa. Yeah. Um, thank you very much, Reese, for bringing it. Uh, in terms of a score. <laughs> I'd be interested to know if there's anything else you can do with it. Like, no, don't do that. Sorry. I'm just like whether you could put it in your... bit immature sometimes. Whether you could put it in your coffee or something. You're eating the crumbs. Yeah. Put it on your yoghurt. Um, put it on your yoghurt? I don't know. I'm just thinking of things that you could do with it rather than just spooning it out of a little tub. Imagine if we had misunderstood Reese and actually said, ah, oh, you put it in a bit, put it in a mug. Don't, whatever you do, don't eat it neat. Yeah, don't eat it neat. Pour some boiling hot water over it, a couple of sugars, and jobs are good. And um, imagine if Tahin Halva actually meant hot chocolate. Brilliant. Or poison. Don't eat. I sometimes don't think Reese really so likes us. It wouldn't surprise me if he's done this to try and get rid of us. Either way, it's an all right product. It's a weird texture. It's it's not sweet enough to make me want to carry on eating. Um, I think for flavour, I'd probably be looking at a low three, but as a product overall, I think I'll give it. I think I'll give it a high two. Yeah, I agree. I don't know where the the sort of three came from for flavour. Because the flavour's okay. The flavour's okay. Like if that was if that flavour was in a chocolate bar or something. A bit too different. dark for me. That's, that's fair. That's why this is all about opinions, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so flavour wise, I think, but but the texture's a bit too weird. That's, that's the shit thing about opinions. Every arsehole's got one. Give us your opinion then, arsehole. It's, yeah, no, it's the same as yours, mate. Uh, it's probably a high two, because there's nothing wrong with the product. Whilst it's not to my taste, I wouldn't eat it again. I can um, understand why someone would like it, though. Like if, can you? If someone was just yamming on this, next, next, next to the other option, Galaxy Bar, do we not, Buena. Do we not like it because we're not used to it? I.e i.e., let me reword the question, if we were brought up in Turkey and that was something that people ate regularly, you'd be used to it mm. and you'd probably enjoy it a bit more. Oh, I'm not sure I'd ever phone you up across the office and go, oh Nathan, you haven't got any bloody Thai and Alva, have you? I'm bloody clucking over it. Well, if you do, I have. I've got some in, in, the, in the office. Yeah, and you'll probably have some for a very long time. So, yeah, like, like no, sorry, high tea. Yeah, it's not great, but it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, I've had worse. Thank you, Reese. Think of it this way. That, to us, is what MJ thought Chinese Red Bull was. That's, that's, that's what he's in. This is chocolate flavoured sand. And that was flat bull semen. Yeah. Would you rather? What would you rather eat? Chocolate flavoured sand or drink bull, uh, flat bull semen? Chocolate flavoured sand. Would you? Yes. Think about it. Yes, obviously chocolate flavoured sand. Ah, but birds pissing sand and stuff like that. Well, yeah, thanks guys. Subscribe for more videos. Videos? Videos. Not videos. Mm, fellow. For, for the record, I never actually said that I'd prefer the semen. 
didn't he? No, I didn't. Rewind, and you'll see. I never actually said it. I just oh. asked him. I just asked oh. him if he was sure. So, didn't he? I think the viewers know. Viewers know nothing. See you later.